Hi, I'm Mark Littler. I'm an independent antiques consultant and whiskey broker. If you're looking to buy a cask of whiskey, there are four typical outlets that you can purchase casks from. The first is directly from the distillery. The second is from a broker like myself. Thirdly, you can buy them from dealers. However, in the last year, we've seen the rise of internet auctions where you can buy a cask of whiskey. When you're buying a cask of whiskey at auction, you really need to know all of the cask essentials. So the age of the whiskey, you need to know how much whiskey is in that cask and do not rely on bottle counts. You need to know exactly how many bulk liters and liters of alcohol are in there. You also need to know the ABV of the liquid, so what percentage proof it's at. You need to know the cask size, whether it's a barrel or a hogshead. And you also need to know the cask type, whether it's a bourbon cask or a sherry cask. You also need to know who your duty representative is and also where the cask is lying. If you're buying a cask of whiskey, the most important thing to consider before you start bidding on a cask at auction is how much you're going to bid. Now, there are several ways that you can use to calculate the value of a cask, but broadly speaking, you need to be inside the industry to understand all the retail to wholesale markups and all the costs of bottling, such as duty, VAT, uplift, and labeling costs, etc. Now to help you, we've created a cask calculator at marklittler.com where you can put in all the cask details and it will give you a figure of how much it's going to get that cask bottled. Another way to get a valuation on it is to contact me directly. I'm an independent whiskey broker and we're happy to make sure that you pay the right price for a good cask. Broadly speaking, samples are not available when you're buying a cask through auction. And the reason is simple. They can't send a sample out to every person who makes an interest in that cask. Otherwise, there'd be very little left in the cask at the end of the auction. However, if you're a serious buyer, they should disclose a sample to you because sometimes people put casks into auction that are maybe of slightly dubious quality because they know that these samples are not broadly available. So if samples are available, it's a good indication of the quality of the cask. If there's no samples available, you might want to question yourself, why is this not the case? So if you're looking to buy a cask of whiskey at auction and you want some more advice or guidance before you commit to the bidding process, please contact me directly and my email is mark at marklittler.com. There's no obligation to the advice that we give to you and I set this business up to give people advice where there isn't that much advice available online. If you look at our reviews online, we've got over 300 five-star reviews at the minute and we build and earn these reviews by building long-lasting, trusting relationships with customers and we want you to be one of our customers too.